everybody, my name's Ray and this is my cash dipping journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking a chance and clicking on the video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. I really, really appreciate it. So today is a budget with me. I think this is the first one I have done. So it may be a little bit of a cluster, but we're going to give it a go. So what I've done is I just created this very basic budget breakdown sheet and if you watched my previous video um, you know that I've kind of swapped around how I do things and I outlined step by step how my budgeting system works. So we're going to put that kind of theory stuff into practice in my budget breakdown. So if you've watched that, if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you go and watch that first uh, because it, this will make a bit more sense. So in my last video, I talked about how I use a hybrid system, which is both electronic fund and cash stuffing. So for example, this is my income here and this is for a two week period. Now I am changing my filming system so it basically looks like I get paid weekly so I'm splitting my fortnightly income down the middle doing half in one week half another week so this income here is for the whole two weeks and this is for week one so for week one it's six hundred and sixty five dollars is what I am cash stuffing but this will change because as I explained in the last video when my envelope reaches its goal so I've got a limit of five hundred dollars I pull that money out from my income, I transfer that amount of money into whatever account it's allocated to, and then I use that money to cash stuff. So say for example, I'm stuffing $665 this week, but I have $500 sitting in an envelope that I need to transfer from my bank account. I only need to get $165 out in cash. I do it that way because going to the bank is a nightmare for us. It takes a long time, it's hard to get parking, it's it's just it's a pain so I try and only go once a fortnight and there's no point in depositing money in a bank just to take it out again so yeah, that's how my system works if you want it step by step I highly recommend you go and watch my hybrid budget system video and that that goes into a lot more detail but so for example here the first thing I do is when I get paid I pay my fortnightly bills so the $1,031.29 that goes straight into my fortnightly bank account. The monthly is $310.96 and that goes straight into my monthly bank account. Then this stuff here is what I'm cash stuffing and that's what we're going to budget today. Now my week one and my week two will look different because there are certain things I stuff on pay week and then the next pay week I don't need to stuff it because I only stuff it once a fortnight. And it's just, it's a lot harder to divide that kind of stuff by two. So hopefully this works. Hopefully I don't make a mess of this form because I am an angle writer, but <laughs> it would make watching the video a bit hard. So I'm really going to try. Okay, so these wallet envelopes, these are the ones I only stuff once a fortnight. So medication, that's for any scripts we have. And that'll be getting $30.00. Groceries gets its standard 100 and fast food gets its standard 80. Family time gets 20. We often, once a fortnight, will go to the park, feed the ducks, and then go and get an ice cream. Uh, we are coming into winter now here in Australia, so that may change slightly, but hopefully not too much. It's a really fun activity that we really enjoy. Uh, the kids always gets 20 and I get 20 spending money and we now increased our fuel to $50 because fuel prices are getting a bit, a bit nuts. Now, once I have the amounts, I then go onto the other side of the page and this is the denominations I'm gonna need for when I go to the bank. So for the medication, it's a 20 and a 10, groceries is two fifties, fast food is 50, 20 and a 10, family time is a 20 the kids always get to a $10 note each if they don't spend it over the fortnight it goes into their individual savings envelopes hasn't happened yet but it's my goal to actually have rollover um, so I'm working towards that spending gets a 20 and fuel gets a 50 so this happens here all the way down the list to save time I probably won't 
do it um, unless you want me to do it in the next one and then I will so just let me down below let me know down below in the comments okay on to the next one just roll and glitter is my small business slash side hustle um, expenses that's getting five postage is getting 15 because it's quite expensive and I need to make sure that I have enough for the whole month because I get paid Etsy at the end of the month so I need to make sure that any orders come in I have the money there to, sh to ship them a PO box I am saving up to get a PO box uh, savings is five and taxes is ten the taxes I have paid my Etsy um, paycheck so I may pay may put an extra ten in I may not I'll just see how how it goes but at the moment I I don't really need it just yet uh, postage is ten and a five PO box is a five savings is a five and taxes was a bit would be a ten okay savings goals so now we're into the budget our budgeting binders so medication is that one's changed which is why it's pre-filled in because I didn't want to forget but so emergency is getting five savings is getting five and deposit is getting 25 now with our deposit I do double payments so I put money into a bank account that goes directly from my wage and I cash stuff a little bit extra and I will actually it's triple and all most of my savings challenges money is going into my deposit so this one has actually re what I've decided to do is include it all together in the envelope so I this 25 means it's going to reach I think it's $200 in the envelope with a mix of prop money and real money so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all that I'm gonna combine it with the money I have in the bank account and that makes it a thousand dollars so I'm gonna remove everything out of this envelope and put a thousand dollar cash prop money in um, but you'll see that when I actually get to the cash shopping video but this is one of the ones that is gonna be I'm gonna have to pull money out of so Evelyn my daughter is getting five my son is getting five uh, my husband is getting five, I am getting five, car maintenance five, ahead five, retirement five, school expenses five. My son and my husband go bowling every fortnight together, it's like a boys, a boys activity on a Saturday so that gets a hundred. They go bowling and then they have lunch. Then household health is getting 15, that has also changed which is why it's pre-filled because I am, I have a medical appointment coming up, so I need to make sure I have enough money for that. Uh, household is getting five, and clothes is getting five. So, back over here. So, medication is getting a 10 and a five, emergency five, savings five, deposit is getting a 20 and a five, Evelyn five, William five, Les five, me five, car maintenance, ahead, retirement, school expenses, it's getting, William's getting two fifties, that's getting ten and a five, household five, and clothes five. So I literally, this is what I do, usually I have one that spans the whole fortnight, but I'm dividing it, so the amounts are a little bit less than what they normally are. Okay, family vacation, that is getting five, birthdays five, Easter five, car rego five, Mother's and Father's Day is getting five, and I'll just quickly fill this in before I flip the page over, so they're all getting five. Okay. Uh, school, back to school is getting five, and Christmas is getting five. Okay. and savings challenges so I've also split this into two so the 26 week one is getting $10 uh, 52 week is getting $10 a dollar a day that is the only one that I will be only stuffing once a fortnight and that's just because it's easier for me to stuff $15 than it is to do two lots of seven because our one and two dollar coin um, one and two dollars are coins so I don't want coins in the envelope. So I'm just going to do it, round it up to 15. 
the low income is getting five, the 10 for 10 is getting a 10, and I've actually made a bit of a change. I recently completed my five for five, which is $5, em $5 in five envelopes, which are totals $25. I completed that. I'm gonna re-empty those envelopes and restart it, and I'm just gonna keep redoing that. So I actually need to add five for five, and that's a five dollar note. And okay, so that adds every that totals everything. So hopefully, hopefully this all adds up, which you will see when I do my cash stuffing video, which will be next. I hope this gives you kind of a snapshot into my budget. Um, any feedback, because this is my first one, would be much appreciated. And I look forward to cash stuffing my first week, weekly cash stuff video. It's it's all a bit new, I'm a bit nervous, but I um, this budgeting community is amazing. So I'm sure I'll be fine and I'll get a lot of feedback. Alright, thanks guys. Remember to live, laugh, love. And when life gets hard, just roll it in glitter. Bye guys.